Yes, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm VJ and you're now watching another episode of my reaction for today. For today, guys, I'm going to watch another Mamamoo video in here. I have actually found a video that is called The Story from That Day. Mamamoo History. That's from Apple Pie 2. So I'm going to watch it today. I'm so excited. Let's go. In the K-pop world, there are a lot Ooh. of standards to follow. But that is not the case for Mamamoo. The mm -hmm. idol group that is not like any other because they were built from the ground up to be the idol that is good mm. at singing. Oh. Kim Do Hoon, the CEO of RBW Entertainment, said that he wanted to produce a girl group. Um, Mamamoo is actually the first K pop group of RBW, right? That is truly talented at singing and good at having fun on stage. With this ultimate goal in mind, he began to choose the potential trainees to form a group. After the evaluation, he eventually ended up with five members. On Hai Jin, she is the youngest daughter in a family of three girls. She lived in a family- I see. This is like a guide, a quick guide to Mama Moo because it's just 11 minutes. So just a quick guide. With a relatively low income. Mm -hmm. Her mom and dad were working hard to support the family, so as a young girl she sometimes regrets that her parents couldn't come to the school like others. Despite mm -hmm. that, she was raised by warm and loving parents, including her beloved uncle, who took care of her when she moved to Seoul. Living mm -hmm. in the countryside, she even rode on her dad's cultivator around the area. During Ooh. elementary school, she told her family mm -hmm. that she wouldn't go to the university because she wanted to be a singer. Her parents who were not financially stable were strongly against her dream, but this didn't stop her. She remained stubborn about becoming a singer. She met her future teammate who shared the same dream. Oh, that's me in. Actually, her name is quite unique in Korea. It was given by her aunt who loved the character name, Jo Wee-in, from a comic Ooh, book for the mermaid really? princess. Her mom, who did art photography at the College of Art, influenced young Wee-in to become interested in art. During her teenage years, Wee-in decided to yes, pursue music she's after also an artist. between the path of music or artist. In middle school, she met an Hai-jin who was wearing a yellow headband. Eagerly approached her and asked, <laughs> Do you want to be friends with me? Later on, <laughs> Hyjin admitted that she was hooked the moment she first saw Wee in introducing herself, so she wanted to be friends with her. They both have become best friends since then. The mm. two promised to each other that one day, we would move to Seoul and become a singer at all cost. They Whoa. helped encourage and support each other and went through numerous auditions, some alone, some together. But Ooh, things didn't really? go well. They failed many times. One judge said to Hyjin, You're pretty talented at singing and dancing. But you are ugly and fat. She was crying on her way home and watched videos I'm of Beyonce all night. On she told herself, right now. one day I will be like her. One day when they were about to give up, they got a phone call from a company that they had passed the audition. They trained in different agencies for a while. We trained at MBK Entertainment. Mm -hmm. Hygen trained somewhere else. She also recorded a guide vocal for four minutes. Oh, really? In 2011, two girls joined RBW Entertainment as the first two members of Mamamoo. Actually, Ooh. we in had met her fellow member Moon Bile in a dance unit while they were training. Sadly, the unit lasted for a week. Moon Bile Lee Moon was Buell. born on a day where the stars in the sky were shining brightly. Her dad named her Bile Lee, Beauty. which means star in Korean. She attended SM Academy and danced the TVXQ's Rising Sun. Oh, really? herself becoming a singer one day. She auditioned for many agencies. However, things didn't turn out well. She was scammed once by a certain company. She mm -hmm. even debuted in another group but got eliminated. Rumors that she was taken out because of her weight. She mm -hmm. followed a strict diet plan and keep dancing to lose weight. She was frustrated really? countless times but never gave up. With strong dedication and commitment, she eventually signed with RBW Entertainment as the last trainee among four members of Mamamoo. After that, she attended the Pak J Institute of Arts. As a trainee, she first trained to be a vocalist but later changing to rap because of her friend's suggestion. Mm -hmm. She had trained for three okay. years and became the group's main rapper. She's not actually Kimmy originally, at a young age, she was uh, quite a you know, kid. like rapper. There was a rumor that she liked to play with dirt and even ate dirt once. <laughs> On the first day of learning to ski, she said the easy slope was born. <laughs> I love this girl video. Then skied down the steeper slope and got hurt. As a kid, she was energetic and enjoyed singing. <laughs> Her dream was to become an air hostess, and she had been preparing until the age of 20. She later discovered that this wasn't her true calling. One day she stopped by the street busking and sang to get the reward. Mm -hmm. Her voice caught the eye of the RBW representative, so they contacted her. Unfortunately, Ooh. she was interested and turned them down. But when she came back home she couldn't stop thinking about it. She doubted herself, so she decided to give it a try. Oh. 
<laughs> At the age of 20, which was a bit late for an idol, she went through over 50 auditions. Sadly, she failed them all. During her last attempt, she finally got accepted into RBW Entertainment and began training at the age of 22. The fifth Whoa. member, according to the CEO, this member decided to continue on a different path, so Mamamoo ended up as a four members group. The three members, Moon Bae Lee, On Hai Jin, and Kim Young Sun, lived together at the rooftop apartment. This hot and cramped room was located on the fifth floor. Without an elevator, the member had to walk up five stories of stairs to get Whoa. to the room. Although as a trainee, they were very talented, they received a lot of criticism from people around them even before their debut. Mm. People said, those girls will make it. You have to put on a perfect performance or you'll be done for. The CEO introduced them to outside executives, and they all said they're going to flop because they're short and don't look like idols. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Kim Do-hoon didn't believe that a successful girl group must follow the standard. Wow. He was confident that Mamamoo would do well. <laughs> Prior I'm actually so debut, touched. Mamamoo collaborated with several artists including Bonky, K. Will, and Geeks. June 18, 2014, Mamamoo made their official debut with the first mini-album, Hello, with the retro-inspired lead track, Mr. Ambiguous. As a small group, there were not a lot of choices. They even performed on the streets to get more exposure. Mmm, really? Mamamoo released the second mini-album, Piano Man, featured the title track of the same name. The title peaked at 41 on Gaon Digital Chart. Ooh. They had gained huge exposure after participated in the show called Immortal Song. Oh, yeah. At the end of 2014, Mamamoo won the Gaon Chart Music Award New Artist oh, of the Year. New Artist of the Year. Soul Success Awards. 2015, Mamamoo returned with the third mini album named Pink Funky with the title song. It was a commercial success, topping at number three on Gaon Digital Chart. In the same year, they returned to Mortal Song and won first place. August 23, Mamamoo held their first fan meeting named First Moo Party at Olympic Park in Seoul. All 1,200 tickets were sold out in a minute. Oh, During the meeting, fans were holding up a message, I won't let you go. Ooh. I mean, I, I don't know, I'm so emotional right now. Um, it's just because my friend is a Mumu, you know, and I feel her. She actually is a solid fan of Mamamu. And of course this video gives you chills and it gives you, you know, goosebumps and like this emotional feeling because Mamamu's history is not like the other groups out there. Um, they're so fortunate and like Mamamu who has to experience all those criticisms, you know, all those belittling, demeaning words to think that they are women. So, yeah, that hits me a lot, you know. Mamamoo released their first studio album, Melting With You Are The Best, come as the lead track. Hey, mommy, come on, yes. Hey, daddy. The song topped all major music charts, marked their first number one song and first perfect all kill. Ooh. Received their first music show trophy and a total of eight trophies at the end of the promotion. Ooh. On August 13 and 14, the group held their first ever concert musical. The tickets were sold out in less than a minute after opening Ooh. for the public. Mamamoo made a comeback with the fourth mini album memory feature to Calcamoney. Although it gave them just one trophy, the album sales hit 50,000 units. Ooh. They also sung an original soundtrack for Goblin. Ooh. Around that time, they really? were known for Adlers known and that. changing the lyrics to tease other artists. <laughs> <laughs> the group held their second concert titled Musical, Curtain Call in Seoul. Mamamoo released their fifth mini-album Purple and titled track Yes I Am. The song quickly climbed to number one on Melon's real-time chart. The song received seven music show wins, including Triple Crown. Mamamoo announced their new project for Seasons 4 Colors to show their depth as artists and their mature musical style. Started yes. off with the sixth mini album Yellow Flower and the title track Starry Night. This album debuted at number one on the Gaon album chart, becoming their first number one album since their debut. The song earned the group's first music recording certification, certified platinum for 100 million streams and 2.5 million digital downloads. Ooh. Seventh mini album Red Moon, with Egotistic as a lead track. 
On August 18, 19, Mamamoo held their third headlining concert titled 2018 Mamamoo Concert Four Seasons S/S. They continued on their Four Seasons Four Color series, releasing eighth mini album Blue S featured Windflower as a title track. Coming to the final installment of the series, ninth mini album White Wind with the title track. Collaborated with Loco, the song Don't Give It To Me was a huge success. Wasa continued to release her solo song. Top number one on Gay on Digital chart. Scored triple crown. Topping Gay on Digital. Gay on Download. Gay on Unscreened Charts. The fourth concert title 2019 Mamamoo Concert 4 Seasons F slash W was held on 1921 April. Served as a grand finale for the project 4 Seasons 4 Color. Another big event occurred in August 2019 where the group announced that they will be joining a competition show Queendom. Once again, they had proven their talent in music by performing many amazing stages throughout the competition. Following their they won. Mamamoo released a second full-fledged album Reality in Black with Hep as a lead track. Hep, the album peaked at number one on Gaon album chart and became the first album with sales volume exceeds 100,000 copies. Mm -hmm. In 2020, Mamamoo released a single Wannabe Myself, including 10th EP Travel in the title track. Uh, yeah. This EP broke the group's sales records, yeah. sold more than 100,000 copies mm -hmm. the first day. This year, the group focused more on solo activities. Until now, it has been seven years since their debut. In May 2021, the group was announced the WAW project, Where Are We?, to commemorate the group's seventh anniversary. The group released an 11th EP WAW, featured Where Are We Now as a title. WAW topped the iTunes albums chart in 21 countries. Shortly after that, RBW announced that we will not renew her contract but signed to promote with the group until the end of 2023. From that day where only three people came to watch them, and now, Mamamoo has proved their talent, unique musical style, and most importantly, they do not have to follow anyone. This yes. is not the end, but rather they the are beginning their of their standard new chapter. themselves. And that's it. Oh, this is great. Very quick guide to Mamamoo. Um, thank you so much, Apple Pie 2, for having that. That's actually the story from that day, Mamamoo history. I got emotional, you know, just like when I watched the, the video on Mamamoo, the underrated group. I think they really are the perfect representation of rugs to riches, you know. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode i'm gonna watch other mamamoo videos in my next episode for now guys thank you and bye, -bye.